welcome back to my channel excuse the lighting i am currently out of town um but i wanted to show you like a fun little diy that i love to do to spice up your jackets your or your coats um and to give them added warmth guys is adding dun -dun -dun -dun, <laughs> this beautiful fur trim to your coat now some coats are like super cool um, and dope without the trim, but if you add fur to them, it just nah. um, I want to show you guys how to do it. It's super easy uh, What you'll need is a sewing kit um, Very basic sewing skills if you have them you won't have to do anything super crazy What I did is I picked up a sewing kit from your local craft store Honestly, I got this from the dollar store. Okay, because baby girls always on a budget and it's like everything you would need in here it came in a super compact case i would advise you guys to like maybe have one with you while you're on the go um just in case something happens so like they give you like 30 needles which is really nice um some safety pins some bobby pins and some like pins to put stuff in place while you're sewing which we're going to utilize two four six Seven, seven different types of colors of thread. They'll give you like this little paper ruler, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Um, these little scissors and a threader. So how cute. So of course, you'll need your sewing kit. Ta-da! The fur of choice that you're going to put on your jacket. I got this fur collar from Amazon for like 20 bucks. Now you could go to your local craft store, see if they find, see if you find what they like and they can cut it according to your measurements. I could have went to Move Fabrics, but again, I'm out of town <laughs> and I wanted to put uh, the trim on my coat while I'm out and about um, exploring a new city. And uh, this was just like the easiest thing to get. I measured the, the trim of my coat, but I'll take you step by step of what I did. This is the coat that I want to put the fur trim on the hood. Now this is a faux leather long line coat. It's super warm. It's cute as is, but um, I think the fur on the trim would like that, give it that added oomph and a little more style. Um, it's very dope. You can leave it plain for more of a street style. Still, if you add the fur, it'll still give you that um, street style sense if you want it. But also, the hood is not super big, and I have like a lot of hair. Um, so to offset <laughs> the hood not fitting entirely on my head, I put the fur trim on it, so it kind of looks like it's still there. I don't know, a little hack whatsoever. So you take any coat of choice that you like. And then you'll take um, or you'll buy a fur trim. I got this again, like I said, off of Amazon. I have a link down below. I think it was $22 to $25. Um, what you want to do um, to make sure you get the correct measurement is you want to measure the brim of your hood. And then you want to buy the fur trim in that exact measurement. Now what I tend to do and I like to do is if they don't have like exactly 29 inch or exactly 31 inches or anything like that. I prefer to go bigger than to go smaller because you can't kind of adjust it on the trim. So this is your hood, right? Right here. And then we're just going to take the paper ruler or measuring tape. I don't like the paper because I'm a little rough and I will probably tear it. So what I'm going to do is take the beginning of the measuring tape, starting off at zero inches at the end of the hood. See how I'm doing that? And I'm wrapping it around the entire um, rim of the hood where you're gonna place the fur, right? So right here, we're at 25 inches so far, but it's not quite as long as hood, so I'm just gonna move it over here. hood brim is roughly 28 inches I believe I got this in like a 30 or a 29 because it didn't have exactly 28 which is definitely doable to do um, and 
yeah, so it can actually fit and not be too small. So let's get into the supplies that you'll need to secure the trim on there temporarily for when you're about to sew it. Um, also, a good thing to keep in mind is they do come with um, these like little buttons. Now, there's two options that you can put the trim on. Well, actually three options. So what I normally do is I use fabric glue and I will like glue this side down, glue this side down and stick it on my hood with some pressure to keep it on. That's the easiest, fastest method of um, attaching a fur trim to your hood. And I did that with um, my black jacket, which I'll insert a picture of so you can see what I'm talking about. And that worked well because that's a different type of material, of course. However, this since this is faux leather, that glue that you'll put on the, the coat itself and on the fur trim is going to slide off. It might not stick as well. The wind is blowing um, kind of rough. It might pop off and that's going to be a little embarrassing boo-boo. So we're going to actually secure it down with thread and needle. Um, so two ways you can do that, which the first way is I'm going to do is I'm going to temporarily secure it down with either safety pins or pins. So I can have an outline of where I'm going to need to sew and also so it doesn't move and it's not crooked while I'm sewing and securing the hood to the jacket. Um, and then I'm going to start sewing, I can show you, on this outer trim here, but securing the trim here, if that makes sense. You'll see it better, I guess, when I'm actually doing it. I can show you better than I can tell you or you can actually utilize the buttons they gave you and sew the buttons according to the distance of the little hoops on here but with that you have to be extremely precise um that might be easier it might not be but for me I honestly think it's just easier for me to just sew it straight across in the sewing kit or any sewing kit you would most likely have these two type of pins so this is like a securing pin that you would need to um, secure like any type of fabric in place before you actually start sewing. And then you'll have a safety pin. I prefer using these because they're easier to place, um, they're easier to take out. And um, this is okay if this like is your only option. You of course can use it, but we're gonna use these for this specific tutorial. So let's get into it. You want to take your fur trim, right? And I'm actually going to cut off the buttons on here because I don't think I'm going to utilize them quite yet. Um, I'll get, I'll decide that once I have the fur trim in place to see what's easier for me to sew and what's less time consuming. <laughs> so we're going to take the fur trim and we're going to place the edge of this on the edge of the hood if you can tell so right there now pro tip is of course you you will see a little bit of the fur here you don't want to place it too far up where you see this fabric you just honestly want to see the fur poke, poking through um, so let's place the fur trim on here we will take our pen and just pin it in place. Now I know you guys are wondering like, oh no, that's for leather. Like, is that gonna mess up? Is that gonna like put a hole in the leather itself or on top of the hood? In all reality, it might. However, I don't care that much because I'm sewing it. I don't plan to take it off. And if I do take it off, like if someone's looking at your hood that closely, to notice that you have a pin size hole in it. Maybe they're a little too close to you, just saying. So now I'm just going to go around the entire trim and I'm putting these um, holding pins in place to secure the hood on here properly. So I know that I'm sewing in a straight line and it's not crooked or it's gonna look weird and all that good stuff. So this is what the jacket will look like after you sew it on here. Um, 
So let's get into threading our needle. So what you're gonna need now is if you have this guide, so I think it's called a needle wheel. Um, you're gonna take and find like the opening hole here, or you can see it's right there. And this is this top is not meant to come off because then all the needles will spill out and it'll defeat the purpose of having this cool, neat container. So you're gonna find that opening and you're going to slide it. If you can see, you'll slide it to the edge. Oh, let me do that. Or you can see the needles and they can easily glide out. So it's now at a needle opening and you just, sorry, push that down and see if one easily comes out. Now, <laughs> if you're not a pro like me, you might need the threader. However, I don't think I will need one. I'm going to be using black thread because the lining of my jacket is black. And I don't want it to be like super noticeable if I'm not using black thread. Like I wouldn't want to use like white or like a pale yellow. You want it to look as seamless as possible. Um, I do recommend if you're a beginner, don't uh, thread your needle with a long piece of thread at first. Um, because when you're threading through the material, sometimes the thread will bunch up and it'll create um, a little knot and you will have no choice <clears throat> but to either tie that thread <clears throat> where you have started in your threading process and sewing process or cut it off if you don't like that knot there and you have to start all over. So take your time. Um, sewing is supposed to be like a relaxing not rushed activity. So of course do this when you have time. Now I've cut the length pretty long because what you're gonna do when you have that long piece of thread, you'll have to keep in mind that it will be split in half and that's what you'll start to thread with. So take some of the thread. I usually lick the bottom because that's just what my grandmother taught me to do. And we will take the edge of this thread and we're going to try and put it in the needle. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. Ooh, this is virtue. I don't know if this hole is like too small. Is that why it's not going in? I feel like that might be the case. Ooh, there it goes. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. So perfect. I threaded this, bam, and see, now we have thread on the needle. Now I'm gonna place the needle back in the fabric just to have a point, I'm gonna tie the knot, tie a knot. Um, you wanna make sure that you're tying the knot in the same space for maybe, I would say three to five times because you want that knot to be pretty um, thick you want it to be larger than the actual sewing hole. Now this may take some practice, of course. I've been doing this for a um, while, so I know how to like tie it and where to tie it, where I'm not getting all these little knots. You see how I'm tying it and I'm getting this knot on the same area at the same time? You don't want a knot here, 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 because that's just not good. So I'm gonna do one more and bam, she's thick. And now we can start. So you have your threaded needle, you have your trim secured on the hood where you wanna place it and sew it on. And now it's getting to the actual threading part. Okay, so we're gonna take the needle and we're gonna stitch this on here. Now I'm going to stitch it. You see where there's a faux leather lining and the black lining. I'm going to stitch only where I see black. You don't want to stitch on the faux leather for obvious reasons. One being that if you stitch on here, you'll see the black thread and it won't look as seamless as possible. So we're just going to go in, go all the way through the jacket, all the way through the fur. And you see how that needle is sticking out. And we're going to pull this up. 
Now when you pull this up, you want to make sure that the, the thread on the opposite side of the jacket is staying straight, neat, and even. Then, it depends on how large or how thick you want your stitch to be. They can be fairly medium for me. I don't need it to be super small. So then I'm going to then go back through the jacket. Can you see that, where that needle's poking through? Pull this through, but I also wanna make sure that this string is staying straight. Once again, you take your needle, pull this through, go all the way through the fur. See that needle? Boop, boop, boop. Pull that up. Make sure that this is staying straight. And you're gonna repeat all the way through the top portion of the trim. Now don't be worried if it's flattening the fur, it won't. You won't even see the black thread through your fur trim because it's fairy. So I'm guys, I'm gonna speed this up. Now, as you guys can see, I'm not even halfway through uh, sewing down half of the hood, or I guess I kind of am, but you see that the thread is now smaller. So you want to make sure that you're being intentional with the rest of the thread that you're using. And then we might have to end this piece of thread, start a new one to continue to thread the rest of the top of the hood, which is fine. I would suggest that if you do have to do that, you wanna make sure that you're ending and tying the knot in the inside of the hood versus on top of the thread because you don't wanna see the black thread coming through there. Um, so yeah, we will continue to thread and if that's what I have to do, I will come back and show you guys. Crazy. So we have this much thread left. Wish I could put my arm up so I could see. I'm going to cut the top where the needle is, boop, and then we're going to tie a knot to secure the work that we just completed. Um, if you do not secure a knot here after you cut off the needle, then of course the thread is going to come off, your trim is going to come off, and it's just not going to be cute and it's going to defeat the purpose of what we're trying to actually do you want to make sure that you're tying the knot a couple times so it's thicker than the actual needle hole again so your knot does not slip through that needle hole and it still will loosen so i usually tie it about five to six times to be completely sure right And then you see where you have this long piece of string. You want to cut it as closely as possible so it's kind of undetectable. You know? And then what I'm going to do for the time being, because I have to run out is use the safety pins to secure the edge and I want to show you what the jacket will look like after we're done. Okay so I have reservations with the homie and I have to run out. Um, however I just secured it in like with these safety pins. Of course, it doesn't look the best, but my hair is out. It's going to be covering the safety pins and I can finish the job when I get back. And then I put another safety pin here. And this is what the hood trim looks like. Now you want to 
try to take all the pins that you took out, like these little tiny pins, and put them in the side. Because what you don't want to happen is them poking you in your head while you're out. Because that's not... That's not cute! So let's see if I can find them. Where's the fur trim? Well, let me show you, baby girl. Since you asked. Look how cute this looks now. Right? Let's do the side view. And yeah, it's great. Thank you for tuning in. Sorry about the lighting issue again, guys. But again, I'm out of town. And this is how you add a fur trim on your hood. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, by all means, um, let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. And if you want to see any more DIYs of how I do DIY like apparel or things like that, just let me know. Always here to help. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.